Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you about time I tried to be a romantic puppet and bought my girlfriend Valentine a pair of high-heeled shoes. In thunder's hands, love takes its speed, and Valentine's give their hearts to give. Uh. No, Valentine, she is a strong, independent feminist puppet, and she is not afraid to let you know it. So I'm all excited, right? I wrap up these shiny high heels, thinking I have nailed the perfect gift. I hand her the present, and she opens it. But instead of thank you or happy dance, I get those heels whacking me right on the noggin. <coughs> she looks at me and in her most serious popped voice, she goes, Feminist and feminists don't wear high heeled shoes. Besides, there is blood from the baggage gap, not from my feet. These shoes symbolize old fashioned beauty standards, and I'm all about breathing free from that. Plus, they're just not practical. Look at this. There is even blood, a stark reminder of sacrifices we have made in the name of fashion. I rather stand my own two feet comfortably. She said, feminists. <coughs> <coughs> We don't mess with high heels, sweetheart. They are like relics from an old-fashioned fashion scene, all about looking pretty but not feeling great. <coughs> Critics say they are uncomfortable, cramp your style, and just play into those outdated ideas about how women should look. And you know me, I'm all about choices that empower, not what society expects. Saying no to high heel is all way of flipping the script on beauty norms, making room for all kinds of feminine expressions. Feminists choose comfort over high heels at the end, trying in flats the empowerment. It's all about comfy shoes, breaking free from old rules and letting women pick what feels right for a confident strut. And there I am, folks, with a pair of high heels in my hands and a throbbing head, learning a lesson about feminist fashion the hard way. The things we do for love, right? <laughs>